Neuro MEP Net Omega. It is an EMG and nerve conduction study and EP testing software. To run it, move the mouse cursor to the icon on, the, on your desktop and double click. The software is loading and uh, what you can see first is the main window. Uh, at the top of main window you see menu. Below the menu you see toolbars and a so-called start page. On the start page you see several most popular commands of menu and what you should do first you should start new exam. You press new exam button and a uh, patient new exam window appears. Uh, you should enter here the patient name for example uh, you should enter the birth date and uh, you should enter uh, height, weight and so on. So we can keep this and just press OK. Uh, then the software uh, allows you to enter some uh, information uh, about the patient, why he or she went to your office. For example, uh, we can enter here uh, tunnel suspected. Okay, and now we are uh, about uh, to start. And here you, in the toolbar you see a list of tests which can be done with the software. M-Wave, S-Wave, F-Wave, H-Reflex, motor inching, sensory inching, needle exams. We will start with M. You press here and you see the list of nerves which can be tested. If you don't see a nerve, you can create a new one. But now we will start with medianos and we will do left side. So I uh, move the mouse on the medianos and I select the side with one click. Now the software is preparing the hardware uh, and checking if it is connected properly. And uh, when uh, the software is ready, you see these uh, buttons are highlighted. So first of all, you should check impedance. Uh, the software can be controlled by two ways. You can use mouse, as I do now, or you can use keyboard. Uh, there are two types of keyboard. Uh, the first type is so-called built-in keyboards. Built-in keyboards we have on devices Nero MEP Micro and Skybox. And uh, also we have wireless keyboard which is compatible with any of our amplifiers and uh, it also can be used to control the software. So I press uh, electrode impedance measurement button here or I can press a button on the keyboard. Now you see impedance value and uh, to, to be sure that uh, impedance is OK, uh, you see figures uh, and you see these uh, colors. Green means uh, impedance is OK. Uh, if it is yellow, it means impedance is acceptable. And red means that it is not acceptable. I press close. And um, now uh, the software is uh, ready to start a test. Uh, to make stimulation I put uh, electrode on the uh, medianus. The first stimulation point is wrist and uh, when an electrode is placed I press this or I press a button on the keyboard. Here I see response and I uh, increase stimulation current to see if uh, the amplitude will grow when I will increase current a bit more, more, more. Okay, it is not growing anymore. It means I'm at the super maximal level and I press 
stop acquisition and save result. Okay, now I am ready to make a next point. I uh, move electrode to the next simulation point and make stimulus. Okay, increase. Okay, not growing. Keep. Okay, now I have two curves. Uh, when uh, when I do the test, I anytime can press F1 button and see uh, so-called help menu. In the help menu, I see where I can put, I should put uh, stimulating and recording electrodes for this certain test. For example, for medianus, I put uh, active electrode minus uh, black cable to the abductor policies brevis. Uh, reference electrode I put on the tendon. Uh, stimulating electrode at first stimulation point I put in the midline of wrist uh, about 10 millimeters below uh, the wrist and uh, minus should be more distal. And also I must put ground electrode, I put it somewhere here and uh, the second stimulation point uh, uh, it is it is somewhere here okay so now i have two curves and it is a time to enter distances so to enter distance i uh, just press f2 and the software is ready to accept first distance i measure the distance uh, between recording electrode and stimulating electrode between minuses and uh, it is uh, at this patient 85 and I press F2 second time and the software automatically uh, is ready to accept the second distance second distance at this patient is 240 and now the software calculated the velocity it is 63 which is a bit more than normal it means velocity is okay at the medianus of this patient uh, when software calculate uh, velocity it uses latencies and uh, to be sure that latency are calculated is okay you must to be sure that markers are placed correctly uh, normally software places marker more or less correctly but you always can move them by using mouse or by using keyboard and to make a zoom to see curve zoom it you just press two buttons alt and control and you can zoom the curve and see it in the higher scale.